like these. You see the little butt print? <laughs> I was like, ooh. ooh. <gasps> you guys, to answer your question, if someone is listening to this podcast and they're trying to figure out what their why is, I would highly suggest. She is a social media influencer, former Mrs. New Jersey, and owner of Shamir Nicole Salon, Miss Shamir Haskins. Good morning guys, rise and shine. It is Monday morning and I am actually on the couch. I'm trying to enjoy some grand old coffee and I am working on some videos for YouTube. So I am currently editing and I'm gonna be getting some beauty treatments done today. I found a new location that's not too, not too far from the house that I'm gonna to try to get a facial. So I am booked for a facial this morning, which is exciting. Um, I, even though I do my skincare at home, I really do want to try and let the people who specialize in certain things do their specialty. So I'm gonna get a facial today. I'm seriously considering getting a pedicure. Only thing is, I had a pedicure, what is it, was it last week? Let me see. Let me see what we got going on here. Um, I got a pedicure, not last week, the week before, and my toes itself, they look okay, but I'm really over the blue nail polish. I really wanna do like a really soft pink, so I really wanna get my toe nail polish changed. So maybe that's what I'll do today. And I'm still trying to catch up on laundry, y'all. It's real over here in this house. Especially with me um, going to the gym more often. It's my work clothes plus gym clothes, which essentially makes an additional person in the house in terms of like the amount of laundry. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna be catching up on laundry today. So yesterday I did a really nice Sunday reset, which is what I'm going to be actually editing for you guys on um, YouTube. I'm probably not gonna put it on my vlog channel, which is the channel you're watching. I'll probably put that video on my main channel, which is just Shamir Nicole. So if you guys are not subscribed to that channel, please make sure you, you know, follow me there. So I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet, but either way, I will definitely leave links in the video description so you guys can check that out. But yeah, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing before I leave for my appointment because I have a ton of edits to do. And um, we're going to get our Monday started. Um, I do feel well rested. I got some sleep last night. I went to bed early. I'm so proud of myself. I went to bed early. Typically, I'm up all types of the night because it's always something for me to do. And I have a hard time shutting my brain down. It's really hard to explain sometimes. Like, I always feel like I'm in go mode. Like, I'm always thinking of what I can do next, what needs to be done, what's on my to do list. How can I make something better? And sometimes it leaves me with an overwhelming feeling. And so my brain is constantly going, going, going. So at 12, 30, one o'clock, for me, that's like peak time. That's when I get all of the ideas. I get all, <laughs> I get all of the inspiration. I get all of the everything. And my creative juices start to flow um, at that time of the night. And so for me to sleep, or go to sleep at 10 30 11 o'clock for me it's like it's a christmas miracle <laughs> so yeah i got some sleep last night so i'm happy about that so i'm going to enjoy um my day it's starting to get really nice outside for the last few days it's kind of been raining and stuff but it's really nice outside so i'm really happy about that and also probably before i go depending on what this um, I'm waiting for something to upload on my computer but I want to show you guys I got some new gym clothes I'm really excited about that so um I want to show you guys what I got they were super inexpensive and if you guys have watched any of my workout videos or even my vlogs where I have like little clips of me working out you see that I truly don't care what I wear to the gym like it's it's really weird when I go to the gym I don't like to get dressed because how can I say this and not sound, ugh, not sound cringe? I don't like people staring in my face. <laughs> Ain't no other way for me to put that. Like, I don't like people staring in my face. I don't want people to come talk to me. And it's not me being antisocial. I just, 
when I get to the gym, I use gym. I use the gym as a stress reliever. I use the gym as a time for me to have time for me. And so I really don't like to be interrupted, especially by males who want to talk, who want to try to get to know me. I don't want to do. I don't want to talk. I don't. And I, like I said, I don't want to come across rude or anything like that or not approachable. But essentially, I'm being non approachable. I'm non approachable. So. Um, I go to the gym trying to look bummy as possible. <laughs> like, please don't come talk to me. Um, but I slowly realize that they don't care. And you can wear a knapsack. And they're still going to try. So, I was just like, you know what? I need new gym clothes. These were on sale. Let's grab some stuff. So, I do want to show you what I picked up. It came yesterday. So, I opened the bag already because Leah got a sweater out the bag so I'll show you guys everything that I got I do need to try it on as well because like I said I don't know how it's gonna fit but we'll see so hopefully we can get that done before I go to my facial appointment if not then we'll do it after so I'll see you guys soon so we are in my office and yesterday I showed you guys me um, painting my desk so it's been 24 oh my bad I'm trying to put my ring on <laughs> It's weird when you order stuff and then you be forgetting and then it comes, you're like, it's a Christmas miracle. Um, so gray, these are cute. Like these, you see the little butt print? <laughs> but I showed you guys me painting my office yesterday. So I wanna show you how the desk looks now that it's dry. So I think it looks much better. Remember this is like that dark wood. So it looks much better white, especially like if I'm filming like something like this, you don't see like this big old brown slop here so much better but let me put this here put you guys right here let me show you wait first let me fix the glass on top of the desk because yeah ah! okay i truly like this desk because it has the glass top and this is the desk that i use when i'm doing my makeup in my office and we got you know you guys know we touch makeup and powder and all of that and it stains the desk so the glass top we love but i got a ton of items from shein Ugh. and we're going to make this unboxing really really quick because i'm going to do it before i leave for my appointment so like i said i got a ton of workout clothes these are shirts i should have tried to organize this a little bit better that feels like a shirt Oh, I, for, I remember this too. This is another shirt, pants, pants, shirts, and this feels like, feels like pants. Okay. And then these are, okay. So, yeah, you guys. <laughs> tons and tons of stuff. But like I said, I'm going to be opening this because I do want to wear some of this, probably something from here today. What is this? Oh. <laughs> order that um this actually hold on i'm gonna put that together because i got that for like an outfit inspiration so let's get into the workout pants as i told you guys earlier i truly needed some pants so i got a ton of workout clothes all of these pants were under ten dollars every last pair um i really like these on the website i like to wear black clearly but i like to wear black especially to the gym it's just easier like sweating and all of that so i thought these were really cute they're like tie-dye i love the stretch on these and they kind of have an area like made for the butt so i don't feel like it's going to like sometimes when i wear leggings or like gym clothes certain areas on like especially my thighs it stretches the pattern and it stretches the material and sometimes too much stretch in one area causes the material to get thin which means it makes it see through and i don't want to be squatting or lunging or doing any of that and you can start to see flesh it's too much too much so i prefer darker prints so i got these and again i'm going to try to organize this so that when i come back i don't have stuff all over my office because we all know shamir's office is a hot mess <laughs> mess girl so we're gonna try to keep that under wraps okay another pair of pants same material let me show you guys so this has like a animal print as well 
these are actually gray so it's gray and the print on these are black also has a little bit of extra material on the butt which is great for me um right now they're looking like they are not full-blown leggings they're like giving like the capri look that's fine i just don't wear shorts in the gym like i'm not doing that that's just me um this is a pair of black gym pants as you guys can see this is my theme here i might be actually putting these on today so we're gonna throw her right there um what is this okay i got two pair of black you, of course with me you can never go wrong with black that's my vibe so that oh <laughs> y'all see the black i am too dead yo okay so yeah we definitely have enough material for the butt with these that is too much too much <laughs> so yeah got these very cute okay so we have one two three four about five pair of pants let's get into the shirts um this is i really truly went on the website to get shirts that's one thing i do not have i can always find pants i can never find gym shirts so this how cute is this bright color we love her I, I like this a lot you guys i actually might be wearing this to my facial i love this blue so we're gonna do black and white um i should have got socks anyway got that for sure i thought i had more shirts i'm a little stressed out right now okay and i got a gray top is this the same it is it's the same material it has um like venting here holes on the side so if you're like sweating and stuff like that it has some like ventilation which is good so i like how this is looking so far i don't feel like it's going to cover nothing on my butt that's one thing i really like um i like to try to find shirts that come down a little bit like i know it's not going to cover my butt but at least it can kind of like stop right here but you know at this point i know my truth <laughs> so oh that's why i didn't get that many shirts okay so um, on Shein's website, I'm going to link all this for you guys if you want to check it out. Because again, all this stuff was on sale. Um, this was a pack of three. I think this pack of three of shirts was like 13 or 14 bucks on sale. And you know, Shein always got a coupon, honey. So I got these. And as you can see, these are a little bit longer. So, you know, I mean, it might give us, see that? It might give me a little bit of something, a little something. Um, so I got, of course, I got it in black um let's make a pile my favorite color of course which is the purple i like this color too i actually might order hmm i'm not sure i actually like the style of these shirts when i put it on we'll see but i like the style of those shirts i might order more of those shirts and i got one in white don't ask me why i got white because my white be white for maybe one or two washes and then it's cream after that so i got that all right we have ah, we have a few more things from Shein. i'm gonna keep it cute i also wanted a i wanted a sweatshirt i wanted a white sweatshirt because i got some new sneakers and i had like an idea in my head for like kind of like just going to target and stuff like that so the sneakers that i got are from um chanel and they are black and white and i really just wanted something where i can wear with those shoes and kind of have like a lounge wear think of like i'm on my way to the airport and i got my luggage but i still want to be cute and chic that's the vibe i had in my head when i put this outfit together so basically i got another um long sleeve bodysuit and these i don't like to wear these without having something somewhere because it gives you like the hourglass shape and that's great but depending on where you're going you don't want to just wear that everywhere i mean you can but i don't so i wanted to get this it's long sleeve it's long at the bottom but what i wanted to do is i wanted to get a white sweater or um a white yeah like a white sweater and put it over my shoulders so um i went on Shein. this is from Shein as well so i went on to the website where am i going to put this okay put it right here i went on the website and i found a white um uh, what is this called sweatshirt i found a white sweatshirt 
Um, it says Los Angeles on it, but I already knew that I probably wouldn't wear it with Los Angeles showing. I was going to wear it like this or possibly like this. So I grabbed this it, again on sale. It was like nine bucks. So I was like, yeah, I can, can't beat this. And if it turns like I get stains on it, I'm not going to be like too concerned about it. But um, I wanted this because like I said, sometimes I do get cold and I would prefer to have something that would keep me warm even though that's long sleeve. So I literally bought these two pieces for those sneakers. Um, what else do we got? Shein, 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 Shein. Okay. Now I have, um, what is this? Oh, okay. Those, I actually, oh, I do want to show you, show you this. Hold on. This is not Shein, but I wanted to show you guys. Um... I think I told you the other day that I was on what's the website? Oh, I got the I got the ad on Facebook for the um, AliExpress website. Totally forgot about them, and I ordered a pair of sunglasses that I showed you in one of my previous vlogs for like five bucks. So in that same order, um, I found this dress. I have not tried the dress on. I don't know how it's going to fit, but this color, as you can see. I just realized that that is really funny this color has been attracting me lately i don't know why i think i just like this blue i.e my toes <laughs> oh my god i'm putting all this together my toes are this i wanted my toes to be the same as that color that is so interesting how my mind works anyway so i found this long sleeve dress it has black buttons on the going all the way down and i liked it in the picture because you're able let me see if i can put it on real quick no clothes on or nothing but you see how this already fit it's not even like buttoned up but you can kind of see it's definitely going to give hourglass but i like that the sleeves are long it has the bell sleeves i can adjust that i can also adjust the button so if i want to have it all the way up and i want to give you church girl or if i want to um button it here and leave some leg out you know i can give you know date night vibes like i like this and again it's long and even though it's form-fitting, it's still covered. So I really wanted to try this out. This dress was 15 bucks on AliExpress. Girl, very excited about that. So I grabbed that because I wanted to try it on. And it looks good. I like the color, right? Also, this is from Shein. Now, y'all know I'm extra. Don't act like y'all don't know. <laughs> so I am very, very extra, but you know, I still like black. So I seen this little tassel dress. Let me shake it, baby. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, where am I going with this? I don't know. Where am I wearing this to? Who knows? I'm going to wear it though. You might just see me wear this on Instagram, honey. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because you know, when I post, I give the looks. So um, I bought this dress because it was on sale and I like the vibe of this especially depending on if i'm going somewhere and i need to be extra or i just want to go somewhere and like do the most this is my do the most dress i love the tassel i love the drama like that is right up my alley so i grabbed this i also found another dress on shein again all links will be listed below what is this okay this is a pink dress I'm really getting to my spring wardrobe. If you guys have not seen, I'm getting to the bright colors. This is a one sleeve ensemble, honey. Um, so it's pink, one sleeve. And it is midi length. You guys know I love midi length dresses. I don't like anything that's too short because I'm tall and I'm a little bit heavy. So one sleeve is definitely going to give me the look. I can feel, I can feel the extra. Like when I try on clothes, I can feel myself becoming extra. And I don't even have the clothes on. So, yeah. I like this pink dress. This little number here. I'm sure I'm going to take pictures of this on Instagram. Like, I know for a fact. Um, we have two more pieces. Now, this I purchased because... Um, this was... Was this one of my... Yeah, I think this is like an anniversary dress I wanted to wear. Oh. Uh-oh. I think this came with a... Oh, I think this comes with like a belt. You guys see that? It's like a chain. So this is the dress. This is my um, I am conservative dress. And I feel like, to be honest with you guys now, this is, might be a difference of opinions. If you guys are getting dressed, I don't feel like everything needs to show. That's just my personal opinion. You got to pick a struggle, sis. Like, you can't have the titties out. You can't have the butt out and the legs out and the arms out. Like, I feel like you have to leave some mystery, honey. Classy, not trashy, H-I-L, baby. So, um, 
this dress is I mean it covers everything it is long like it like I'm wearing I'm, remember I'm five nine this dress is at my ankles right now it's long okay it is long sleeve it covers everything nothing is hanging out but i can promise you if i put this on baby i'm going to give it to the girls honey i'm going to serve the girls you hear me and i feel like your style should be the can be depicted without you having to show your body off style is not nakedness okay so this is the dress it comes with this chain like i said if you want to give it a little something here if you don't that's fine too but i really feel like sometimes chains and belts if you don't have an hourglass shape it's going to give you an hourglass shape so this is what this is for i cannot wait to wear this this is going to be a really cute um date night outfit especially like in the evening like that's not giving me that's not giving me lunch well I feel like he can give you lunch vibes if you have an open toe shoe but in my head right now it's giving it's giving dinner it's giving dinner date so we have one more item from Shein I actually don't know what this is to be honest with you I don't remember purchasing this what is this oh I do I like I do okay so this is a two-piece set when you wear this set um, on the picture, it was, it looked like it was like one dress, but I, when I read the description, it said two pieces. So it is a one sleeve. It is a bodysuit. As you can see, the snaps are here. <laughs> My friend called this a onesie. <laughs> is it adults got onesies? Yes, we have onesies. So yeah, this is a one piece ensemble, honey. And it comes, let's, let me, let me. Let me drape it for y'all. And then it comes with the long skirt. Oh, so cute, right? That's the skirt. And of course, like I said, one sleeve. So can you, are you visioning? Are you getting the vision? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. I'm so extra. Okay. But yeah, I love this. Again, it is long. Um, but also, if you can, let me show you. See this right here? This is a tie so you're able to scrunch up the skirt so let's just say remember like this sleeve hold on so remember this arm is out so if you want to turn the school oh, this is not working if you want to turn the skirt this way it's kind of giving you shoulder here leg here you know what i'm saying like it's giving you a it's giving you a s silhou silhouette so basically i'm going to let me show you I'll give you a look. So it's like here and then you have a little bit of this leg out. Because it has that tie on there, you can tie it up as high as you would like. If you want it up here, give it to them. But um, yeah, you're able to adjust how high that split is. So I really like the fact that one shoulder out is here, one shoulder out is here. If you want to turn it this way, you can have all of this side out and then all of this side covered. I like the option of that. Or if you want, you can actually put it in the front and you can give, you know, shoulder out here and then a little bit of leg in the front, whatever you choose to do. But these are the items that I got from Shein. Again, links will be in the bottom for you guys, but I am going to get ready for my facial. Um, she said I don't have to um, worry about putting moisturizer stuff on my face, but I did have coffee. So I'm going to rebrush my teeth and then I'm going to throw this on and we are at the door so that I can get to my facial appointment. So I will see you guys there. So, he yeah, has 90 minutes. The price was phenomenal. It's not the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. So, I thought the price point was really good. It's just, yeah, it's not my exit. So, I'm going to check this location out. Of course, I'm bringing you guys along with me. And I will be asking her if I'm able to vlog while I'm in there. If not, then I just enjoy my facial and I'll give you my thoughts when I get out. But, yeah, it's a great way for you to find local businesses discounted services at whatever rate you can afford and um that's what i'm going to be doing today and hopefully we have some good luck <laughs>
<laughs> All right, you guys. So I am on my way to my facial. But right lane to keep right to merge onto I to ninety one south. She tried it. Um. So yeah, Siri is. I mean, yeah, Siri is going to be interrupting my little convo. But I want to share something with you guys really, really quick. So right. I heard you, Miss Williams. But um, yeah. So. Many years ago, it will be, oh my gosh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yes, almost 10 years ago, when I first decided to open up my own salon, I was trying to find different ways to market the salon. Of course, miles to make exit 32 onto County Road 561 towards Haddonfield. Okay, yeah, so. I was trying to find different ways to market the salon outside of just my small area. And this was before social media was like really, really booming for like business owners. So I signed up with Groupon. And Groupon, of course, is a way for you to get different products and services for a discounted rate. And so for a new business, this is, you know, great potential in terms of growing your business. So I signed up with Groupon and I sold discounted hair services it was like discounted about 20 maybe 30 percent of the original cost but it was a great way for me to get new clientele to you know promote the, the salon all of the good things so i did that and i was on groupon for a few months it worked out really well in terms of growing the business and scaling so i thought about something last week i was like i want to find a way for me to kind of treat myself to something each week and not have to like blow the bank in order to do so so I was like of course there are tons of free things that I can do you guys know I love the library you know I love the museums things like that but I was like I want to find something that is like maybe not always free but just like inexpensive so I was like oh let's think about Groupon and Living Social so I went on to Living Social I think Living Social and Groupon have merged I'm not sure but anyway I went on to Groupon and I was like, let's see if I can find some things in my area that would be discounted, things for me and the kids to do, you know, just to see what's new. Because again, it's also a great way for you to find businesses in your area that you may not otherwise have found out about. So I went on there and I seen that they had a discounted facial on there um, and it was local. So I was like, okay, let's see. So I went on to their Instagram. I looked at their reviews, I read through everything, I looked at the location, I scaled the website, all of those things, and I was like, okay, her reviews look really good. So I am going to this new business and it is going to be a 90 minute facial. I'm all set. You guys, that was by far the best facial I have ever had in my life. I am not kidding. Oh my God, I'm still laying here. Look at my skin. Oh my God. I'm going to go ask the, um, the owner who just did it I want to ask her what treatment she did because there were a variety of things that I was feeling, I was feeling, and um, I didn't want to record because I really wanted to experience the facial, and I'm glad that I did. It was, it was amazing. So I'm going to get up and uh, get dressed, and let's go talk to. You. I do. So I wanted to, um, like I said, I wanted to share. I guess the, oh, my phone. The different. Um, steps within the facial that I got um, done today in terms of like how we started everything yeah. that was included yeah okay so today we started with a double cleanse um, the double cleanse helps the first cleanse help lift up any debris the second cleanse is what helps get down deeper and okay. it's more targeted to what we were looking for today so I did a hyper pigment uh, facial for hyperpigmentation okay. and hydration okay um, 
The second part of the treatment was the microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion uses a diamond tip dust wand and suction to help resurface the skin. Mm -hmm. Once that was done, then we moved into some lead light therapy. Lead light okay. therapy is also going to help with hyperpigmentation. It's going to help kill any bacteria beneath the skin. You have the previous history of acne, so that is also going to help kill any bacteria, any breakouts, slow down any like hormonal breakout, breakouts mm -hmm. with um, uh, treatments, prolonged treatments. Okay. Every four weeks for that, so whenever you book a facial, it's a, ideal to do the lead light therapy that as well um you went under with a hydrating mask um under that lead light therapy yes. as well that helps with hyperpigmentation too once that was taken off with the steam towel we did your upper decollete mm -hmm. and um neck massage your yeah <laughs> decollete <laughs> massage um then that came off, we finished with some serums that targeted for pore minimizing. That was one of the uh, smaller issues. Okay. There wasn't anything, like you didn't have any excess oil production. Oh, so good. Like your skin was pretty normal with like just dryness in certain spots mm -hmm. and a few dilated pores around like your nose area. Okay. Um, so uh, we finished with some serums for hyperpigmentation for minimizing and hydration. Hyaluronic acid, beta hydroxy acid, um, and um, what other name? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of the other ones. Uh, I'll get the name for you. No problem. Um, once that was finished, we topped it off with high frequency. Um, high frequency helps with firming the skin, it helps with texture, it helps with making the skin glow. Um, some serums for peptide, um, a peptide, peptide and collagen serum to help with the collagen and elastin production, okay. hydration also. Um, oh, and gua sha. So gua sha is if you felt with the rose quartz crystal that I yes. use. Um, so I think while I'm doing the lymphatic drainage, I also include gua sha. So gua sha is good for draining. Um, for lifting, for firming the skin, mm -hmm. it's using a rose quartz crystal. Okay. So we did that around the eyes. Yep, I felt that. And then we felt that around the mm -hmm. chin. Um, and then we finished up with some hydration in the lips, some grooming on the brows, a little bit more massage. And then that was it. Yes, it, <laughs> it was a very, very good massage. And so I was told, telling the blog, like, I've had plenty of facials before. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best. That was one of the yes, best. Yes, it was one of the best. <gasps> So, yeah, I said I definitely want to, you know, highlight, you know, your business because it was a really, really good facial. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right, you guys, I am back home and I picked up, I'm all out the frame. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm back home. I went to Home Goods. I was going to go back to Home Sense, but I can't. Hey, booty. The dog. Hey. Say hi. Oh, the camera can't see you. Okay. But anyway. Look at this. I literally, you see me just open it out the box. Okay, yeah. Nah. Nah. <laughs> so, we are taking this right back to the store. Yeah, I'm going to take this back to the store and exchange it right now. Okay. I could probably fix it, but no. Like, no, no. All right, guys. Let me um, get this together. Why is it doing that? Okay, so it's still, I'm looking at it now. I like how it looks in the room, but that, mm -mm. the girl, I just called the store. She said that they would either mark it down or I can exchange it for another one. I know for a fact that they have another one inside the store. So I'm just going to exchange it, but mm -mm -mm. that mirror ain't cheap. And no, so I'm going to, why don't the window open it? Yeah, I'm probably going to just, I'm going to put this other piece of wall art on my bedroom. Yeah, I'll take this upstairs and I'll put this wall art up in my bedroom and I'll put the 
shower racks up that I put um, in my shower the other day. I have to put them back on the wall because the adhesive is now dry. So I'm going to put those on my wall and then I'll go back out later on and exchange that because mm -mm, that is not the wave. And I might just go get some food while I'm out. So I think I forgot or neglected to tell you guys that my bed sits high off the ground. <laughs> so yeah. Didn't really quite think that through, my dear. And what is this? Okay. There's a lot going on with this picture. Like wood and stuff. Ooh! Attached to it. If the other one was wrapped up like this, I wouldn't have to return it. They got this thing wrapped. Okay. Oh my. Okay. So now I'm trying to figure out, let's see if I want it to be this way or I want it to be this way. <laughs> This is about to be really interesting because, um, yeah, something else that is not my ministry. But we're going to try it. Um, I don't think I got the right nail either. I think I should have got a heavier duty nail. But this might. We'll see. <laughs> Luckily, the picture is wide enough. I got to make a hole behind it. <laughs> I can figure it out, but... Uh, let me see. If the other one was wrapped up like this, I wouldn't have to return it. They got this thing wrapped. So now I'm trying to figure out, let's see if I want it to be this way or I want it to be this way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see. I think. All right. Okay. This is about to be really interesting because, um, yeah. Something else that is not my ministry. We're going to try it. Um, I don't think I got the right nail either. I think I should have got a heavier duty nail. But this might. We'll see. <laughs> Luckily the picture is wide enough. I got to make a hole behind it. <laughs> How we do? Let's see. I think we did good, guys. I think it looks good. Again, the room is white. My bedding, I'm going to get a new bedding, so I'm not really concerned. And I took my headboard off of the bed because it was like this cream color and it was like killing me. Um, So I think I like how this is. What are we thinking? Is it, wait, is it crooked? Y'all, I think it's crooked. <laughs> wait. No, I think it's okay. Is it me? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I think it's a little bit crooked. Alright, I can fix that later, but if see if I change the camera, 
It looks better. See that? <laughs> it's crooked, y'all. But I, okay, we like the picture though. All right, so now I'm going to go downstairs, finish editing, and um, take that picture. Uh, sorry, take the mirror back to the store. But yeah, I like I like how it's coming along. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, you guys. So I'm going to be trying this um, Trader Joe's product I got the other day. This is the beef and broccoli. I'm going to try this out. See how it tastes because I'm hungry. And oh, I think I opened up the wrong thing. All right, you guys. This is what we got. We're going to see what it tastes like. Either way, I'm eating it because I'm hungry. So let's just see. Delivery just brought it here. Yeah, I know. That's why I said, I, did you deliver? Yeah, the delivery man just left. Okay. Whoa, I'm just Cause it smell weird upstairs. I mean, I mm -hmm. upstairs. It's a delivery. Delivery man dropped it off. and grind beautiful people it is wednesday Ooh, yeah the bun ain't never bunning right but you know we're gonna call it a day so one of the best parts of my morning is figuring out what coffee cup i want to use <laughs> it's literally the little things of life so today i'm going to be using my queen bee cup because you know queen honey also this week i did a lot of grocery shopping you guys see my trader hall's gel um <laughs> you guys have seen my Trader Joe's haul. Yesterday, my father-in-law, I don't know where he was at and what he was doing, but um, he called, he's like, do the kids want um, orange juice? I was like, yeah. And so he came here yesterday with a, it, it had to be like a 24 pack of orange juice. Let me show y'all. We have two of these. So, because they're simply, oh, my bad. They're simply oranges, so they have to stay refrigerated. So I literally had to go through my refrigerator, pray that I can move some stuff around to keep 24, 48 bottles of orange juice in my fridge so that it don't go bad. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, so he also had that and he was like, wait, Y'all want some English muffins? Now, my kids don't necessarily eat English muffins. I eat them because they're good for like breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that. So I had already purchased the cinnamon raisin bagels one, which is what I'm making now. I had purchased some for me because I was like, that'd be good because I have to make sure I eat in the morning because I'm really bad with that. Especially after I'll be at work all day, all night, and don't eat nothing. So I have to get better with my eating. Anyway, um, I said like, this would be good in the morning they're like 100 how much are these 150 calories and i put like a little bit of butter on it and you know it works so anyway i picked up english muffins for myself my father-in-law brings me this <laughs> so i have a whole bunch of english muffins now a container of pastries that i don't eat the kids barely eat them Apple turnovers and all this other stuff. It's muffins in here. I'm trying to stay slim. Y'all see me in the gym? So, um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. And then, I, like, my countertop right now. Let me show you the countertop. Bruh. Like, as soon as, soon as I clean this off, it just accumulates with more stuff. Craziness. Oh, and he also gave me these. He said, oh, you don't like these. They zero calories. <laughs> I love the man, but Lord have mercy. So yeah, um, I had one of these. They're actually kind of, I don't know, they're zero calories, but they, they're kind of sweet for me. So I feel like I have to add water to them. Anyway, I'm thankful. So I'm trying to organize my countertop with 
all of the stuff I have here. But I feel like I never can catch up. It's like as soon as I clear it off, more stuff comes. So that's where we're at. But today we are going, oh, plastic bag, mangoes. So today um, I'm going to be speaking at Innovation Salon. I've been there before. I have been asked to speak to the students before. I'm very grateful. One of their teachers is a former cosmetology um, classmate of mine. His name is Kim, if you guys have seen him here on the vlog before. But um, me and him went to cosmetology school while we were in high school. So that is how I've been able to do hair for now over 20 years. Um, so yeah, he was in cosmetology school with me. He's a little bit older, but we were in the same class. And now he teaches at Innovation Salon. And so I was asked to participate in a Women's Month panel. So I'm gonna be speaking to the students, talking about entrepreneurship, talking about business, talking about my career in the industry for 20 years. And um, yeah, I'm excited. So he asked me to wear something purple. I don't think I have anything purple in my wardrobe. Surprising because purple is my favorite color. So I have to go upstairs, find something to wear. Look at these eyebrows, y'all. I should be ashamed. I gotta do my eyebrows. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go there, speak to the students. I really, um, sidebar, if you guys don't know, anytime I go out, even if I'm speaking about cosmetology, cosmetology, entrepreneurship, anything, I really have to take a second and go into like, you can call it meditation, I call it prayer, because when you're speaking to people, you wanna make sure that you're speaking from a place of, in my opinion, a place of gratitude and thankfulness and really, um, I've learned that the words that come out of my mouth have a great impact. And so I want to make sure that I'm not speaking from flesh myself. I want to make sure that the words that I'm speaking can impact these students for years to come. So I really want to make sure that I'm centered and I have, um, I'm coming from a place of love and gratefulness and gratitude. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee and eat my English muffin do my prayer journal pray and I'm going to get ready I'm not going to film a get ready with me because I feel like I need to like do a lot of stuff so I'm just going to get dressed and I'll be back a little bit later and again these eyebrows girl like I need to concentrate and do these <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna eat y'all and then I'll be back and probably on my way to innovation salon or I'll already be there so I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit uh, okay Y'all, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so I am caught, I'm trying to, look at me. I'm trying to fill my sugar container up. This, this is the sugar. This is why I said I need to stop recording this morning because I'm like all over the place. Why did I pour all the sugar in the freaking coffee? I, <laughs> I pour so much sugar in this coffee right now. Oh my God. And I think I used the last of my creamer. Okay. Oh my God, man. Look, look. You guys, can you see that? You can see the sugar still on the spoon. That's how, look at that. That's how much sugar I just poured. Oh my God. Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yikes! So, um, this is Women Empowerment Month. I mean, this is actually Women History Month, guys. And I don't know uh, whether you are a woman or you love a woman. This is a time that we, we've taken out um, to have some, to discuss some business with some girl bosses, um, with people in our industry, um, women in our industry, and how they made it. So I, I, I want you guys to think of questions. We're going to have Ant ask some questions, but as we're asking questions, um, is the owner of Color Bar 51. Let's give a hand for Donna. Yes. My first question is, 
is, who was an inspiration to you guys? And you can, I would say the person who inspired me to become a hairdresser was my grandmother. Um, watching her do Jerry Curls in the kitchen on Saturday and Sunday mornings definitely inspired me. She showed me how, of course, to apply the end papers. But um, I would also say the person who inspired me to become a business owner was my hospitality teacher. Her name was Mrs. Candy, also the famous hospitality teacher. Um, she definitely inspired me to become my own boss and entrepreneur, and she sat me down one day after I got in trouble for not pink curling correctly. <laughs> um, and, um, the state boards, uh, they drove me crazy. But she said, I don't think you are meant to work for anybody else. And I said, why is that? She said, because when you have your mind set on something and you have an idea of what you want, you go for it and you don't listen to anything else. And from there, it kind of stuck with me. And I said, I think she's right. And so now, 10 years later, I'm a business owner. So. Okay, guys. So I am currently on my iPad. I'm updating my vision board for the year. Uh, I don't know why. There we go, yeah. <laughs> so I'm updating my vision board for the year. Um, there are some things on here that I truly, truly want to focus on. And so I wanna make the vision board, um, I don't really wanna necessarily make it like cohesive. I'm not really worried about that because I'm gonna use this as my screensaver on my iPad. But there are a few things that I really want to accomplish and handle this year. So I'm going to be going on Pinterest and don't sleep on Pinterest, Pinterest is the best. So I'm going on Pinterest, going to find some images from Pinterest, um, things that kind of resonate with me and my goals, and then I'm going to create a collage, and I'm going to use that as my screensaver for my vision board. So that way, every time I open my iPad, I'll be able to see it. It will keep me on track. It will keep me mindful of the goals that I'm creating for 2023. So that is what I'm doing, and um, I'm going to continue to do the laundry because we have a ton of it. <laughs> so oh and also um i was at the store today and i wasn't sure about the candle even though i got the other candle um i did find another one in the house and this one is by whiteborn called champagne toast it smells really good and like it's like soft caramel sweet just like most of the things that i like <laughs> so it kind of smells like um almost like a bakery i'm looking at it now and it says bubbly champagne bright berries juicy tangerine um so maybe not cookies like i thought but it's still very sweet and bubbly and soft so it goes perfect with the vibe that i'm trying to create in here in my office today so i'm going to finish my vision board and i will probably see you guys a little bit later on go follow my youtube channel girl no i'm serious move wait let me say something let me say oh let me say something let me say something go follow my youtube channel Go follow my YouTube channel as Life with Ariel with a cloud. Mm -hmm. Don't follow. Don't play with, don't, don't, play don't with, don't follow with. her. She's. Don't play with it. Yup. Yeah. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. All right, you guys. We are back in my office, and I wanted to show you why I went and got this paint. This is just the bare. It's called sample color white. But if you notice, this desk is from IKEA. Um, and it is supposed to be mounted up against the wall, but clearly it's not. But it, see how this wood is showing right here um, it drives me freaking crazy now it's not that bad but I really want to just get some paint and cover up this wood now did I need to spend five dollars on paint probably not but I'm going to paint this because like I said it's really driving me crazy um and then I'll see maybe like two coats and then it's always good to just have like white paint around the house just in case you know you mix something especially with me like the walls and stuff so I'm just going to paint this really, really quickly and um, hopefully it looks a lot better. Yes? I'm about to paint my desk. Paint this one. Huh? Which one? This one? I'm just painting the wood. It looks better already so we're gonna let that dry i'm gonna do two coats of this um leah wants me to take her to the park so i'm going to take the kids to the park like i said i was going to do last week all right i'll let this dry like that yes i'm gonna take the kids to the park and then i'm going to come back and i'll do another coat of that and then i'm going to finish my sunday prep i have to 
get dinner started. I already had the um, chicken season, so I just put it in the pan and then um, probably clean the bathrooms. You know, all the fun mother stuff. So, see you later. BBO culture and all of this stuff. I said, you know, most of these pictures aren't real. And they're like, nah, -uh, I seen her on, I seen her vlog. I seen the, you know, <laughs> she, I seen her when she's on the table. And I'm like, okay, but let me show you something. And so I literally took out my phone. Yeah. And I went to two apps, um, Facetune and Face App. Face App is the one that everybody uses. FYI, we're gonna throw that out there real quick. Give you a little teaser. I just found that out on TikTok. Girl, the other day. I was like, girl. <laughs> so <laughs> the pageant girls is loving it right now. But um, so I showed them that, and I said, I'm gonna just show you something. I'm gonna take a really like just unflattering photo of myself, and I just stood there and went like this. I said, give me two seconds. Do 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 do. They were like, oh my god. I was like, yeah, do you see, I don't, I don't got no eyeliner on, I don't have eyelashes on, look at this photo. They're like, oh my gosh, you look so good. It's smoke and mirrors. And so like little things like that. And so I say all of that to say, when people are trying to find out what their purpose is, don't, I mean, I know we are influencers and we're social media, whatever, but don't go to social media trying to figure out what you need to do. You need to go to yourself and go to God and figure out what you want to do. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. To answer your question, if someone is listening to this podcast and they're trying to figure out what their why is, I would highly suggest to write out a list of all of the things that bring you joy. Like pure joy. They don't have anything to do with social media. They don't have anything to do with your current job. Just makes you truly happy. And when you write that list, you'll start to see again. All right. So podcast is over. Um, it went really, really good, but I am going to take it down for the night and I will see you guys tomorrow.